guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel i am grace and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this really simple cute high-waisted shorts with pockets and an elasticated waistband so if this is something you're interested in there please stay and watch and without any further ado let's just jump right into the video so written on the screen are some of the items you'll be needing for this project right here so let's jump right into the video First of all, you're going to fold your fabric into two equal parts. Then start by drawing a horizontal line like this. Then after doing that, you go down two inches or three inches from the top of the fabric because you aren't going to start creating your um, pattern just from the top because you need allowance and all that. So after going down, you're going to mark that and that's going to be your waist measurement. Then you're going to go down from the waist measurement by 10 inches which for me is 10 inches and that would be my hip measurement so you just want to do is measure from your waist to your hip to know your hip measurement so now i'm going to take my hip circumference which is 38 and add one inch to that for ease i am going to divide that by four which is what i'm doing right now with the tape rule After doing that, I'm going to have 9 point something, 9.75 inches and I'm just going to mark that on my hip measurement. This hip measure circumference is very important for the rest of the measurements. So now for your crotch area, what I usually do, I use two methods. The first one is just the standard going down by 2.5 inches and another method is just measuring your um, hip, half of um, a quarter of your hip measurement. And divide that into four again and whatever you get would be your crotch um, depth that's from your hip depth from your hip depth I hope that makes sense and which is also going to be 2.5 inches for me and I'm just going to mark that there and I'm going to mark that same 2.5 inches um, after the marked um, point at the hip measurement there and that's going to serve as your um, crotch measurements and you really don't need it for the hip measurement but it was just here yeah, for me to mark it there before i do the rest okay so after doing that you're going to determine the length you want your shorts to be at and i want my mine to be 15 inches which was what i did now you take the same measurements you took for your hip which also included the crotch area and go down and mark it in the crotch area which is pretty much what i did after doing that you're going to go up from there by 1.5 inches and you're just going to create a curve from the line right there to the crotch area like so so now you're just going to take your thigh measurement and divide that into two so whatever you get is what you mark right there and for me it was um 11 inches and i'm just going to connect the crotch to the thigh measurement so now for the center front of the shorts you are going to go in what's by a quarter of an inch and just connect the line right there so the reason why i'm doing that is to prevent gaping in front so now from the waist measurement you go upwards by 1.5 inches which was what i did to create the um, allowance for the less elastic band casing so after doing that you just connect all the markings together and this is what you will have and you just connect that to the waistline so after that you go down from the thigh measurement or from the hem of the shorts by 1.5 inches and that is going to be my hemming allowance for the shorts so you can decide to do two inches depending on your preference but i was okay with 1.5 inches after doing that you're just going to draw the straight line and connect it then after which you add your seam allowance on both sides of the shorts and for me i used 0.5 inches you could decide to use one inch depending on your own preference but i always prefer to go for 0.5 inches as my seam allowance so after connecting everything together you're just going to trace it out like this then cut out the fabric So after doing that, you're just going to place that front 
um, pattern to the top of a fabric which has already been folded into two now for the crotch area you're going to extend the line because you're going to create the back block so now to create the crotch area for the back fabric um, what you're going to do is to divide your um, one one quarter hip measurement into two in my own case which was five inches and i'm going to now place that five 4.75 inches i'm sorry and i'm going to place that 4.75 inches from the hip um measurement and that is going to be your crotch um measurement for the back i hope that makes sense and whatever excess fab measurement you have from there you extend that down to the hem of the back fabric as well then after the end you're just going to connect the crotch the tie and the the hemming allowance as well so this is just an easy way for you to create your back um short fabric rather than just starting all over creating an entire new pattern for it and you're just going to trim out the fab um just cut out the pattern or the fabric like this and i forgot to add um seam allowance at the edge right there which is what i am doing right now so after which i just cut out the rest of the fabric after that this is what you have for the front and the back as you can see the front is usually shorter or smaller than the back i'm talking about the crotch area anyways so now we're going to create our pocket and for you to do that you're just going to fold your fabric into four equal parts like so so what i like to do is after i fold it i just place my hand there to be sure that i'm okay with what it looks like then i just cut out the fabric from there so the length of the um, pocket is going to be 11 inches which also includes seam allowance i like to make mine 10 inches deep um so yes after the end i'm just going to cut out the excess fabric then i'm going to cut this into two then cut it again into four to have four pieces of your pocket fabric after doing that so i'm going to go downwards from the top of the fabric by seven inches right there which is going to be the opening of the pocket and i'm going to mark it there and after marking it there, i'm just going to just freehand this and create whatever shape i want my pocket to look like After creating the shape, I put my hand again and be sure that I'm okay with it. Then I just cut out the remaining excess fabric. And this is the shape of your pocket. So when you cut everything out, you're going to have four pieces. So now you're just going to sew the center front and the center back of your shorts together. And this is what you'll have. So after doing that, the next step is to place your pocket on the short so what i will do is to go down from the waist not the top of the fabric but the waist measurement i'm going to go down by two inches and create a notch there which is going to be where i'll place my pocket so you're going to place the right side of your pocket to the right side of your fa fabric i'm going to repeat the same step to the back um short as well then you just sew it down after sewing it down, this is what you have. Then I'm just going to place the front and the back um, shorts together like this. And you're going to sew the sides down. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do first. You're going to sew the sides down from the top right there with the pocket. Sew it down to the hem. Then after which you sew the crotch area down in place. Then you sew the... Um, elastic band casing down in place by folding your fabric twice and i used half an inch on each fold then for the hem of your shorts you're just going to fold the first half an inch then just after which you fold it again like this and you hem everything and this is what you'll have after doing that so yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful and it was so easy to create i created this in under two hours including
included the cutting and everything so yeah i really love it and it's high waisted like most of my shorts so i hope you find this informative and helpful and leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about this and i'll see you all in the next video bye